All right, guys, day three of Worlds is still kicking off here. You know him, you love him. We're here with Scott Crampton today. Scott, how you doing? Good. <laughs> All right, Scott. Well, what are you playing today and why? Uh, so I'm playing uh, Dan Thanos' team because I'm an unoriginal bastard. It's not bad. Not bad. It's a pretty good build. We were speaking with Dan earlier. Seems like a pretty nasty team. What's uh, the worst matchup that you can come across? What's something you don't want to sit across from? Um, you know, you don't want to sit across from Triple uh, Apocalypse right now um, because it's kind of you playing 50 minutes for a roll-off or for them to maybe make a crazy mistake and then you to hit absolutely everything. Uh, and there's just not much against it. I'm also not wild about seeing a bunch of uh, Jubilees. I'm not sure if people are still on that or not. So uh, X-Men could be an actual real loss. Um, so yeah. Um, basically, I had a team, and I worked on it for like a month and a half, two months, oh, wow. and it just, the field went from like, hey, I might play one in Apocalypse, and I'm like, I can beat an Apocalypse, to, oh, two's good, to, mm, three's <laughs> great, and uh, yeah. my team loses to Triple Apocalypse versus Thanos that rolls off against Triple Apocalypse, so I came to Worlds to roll off. There we go. That is just excellent. Well, Scott, another question for you is, what's a figure that no one's really talking about that you might expect to see today? Absolutely. Uh, so this is a deep pull. Um, Thanos, man, nobody has seen this. So, like, literally, it's crazy, right? It, like, it's 20 years old. It's from Infinity Challenge, yeah. my old deep collection. Pull, deep deep pull. pull, right? Nobody's talking about Infinity Challenge Thanos. It's this crazy. is the original figure. Like, I pulled this when I was, like, 20 years old, <laughs> and now I'm playing it in Worlds. What a crazy world we live in. I mean, yeah, I, I, have, I have no words for it. Well, Scott, we'll try to get you on your way here. I'm sure you got a few things going on. I don't. Nothing. Nothing, nothing going on. Nothing going on. All right. Well, last question for you. What's a tarot card that you do not want to see flipped against you today? So the only positive of Thanos is that answer is nothing. Okay. Like, none of the tarot cards affect Thanos. Uh, however, like, when the rest release, they all affect Thanos, and they're all terrible. But randomly, they just all, for some reason, don't affect Thanos right now then everything else affects Thanos later on. So hopefully this is Thanos' last ride. I have said that twice. We've been talking about it too. You're not the only one. <laughs> I'll tell you what. So Scott, really appreciate the time. Good luck today, and thank you. Oh yeah, we don't do handshakes. It's more modern coverage today. I am joined by Dane. Dane, how are we doing today? Oh, just fine. I'm happy to be here. Worlds is back. Three years we have to wait. Heck yeah, man. It's good to be back in full swing. Well, with Modern going on today, what are we looking at playing? Oh, we're playing Singleton Doom, God Emperor Doom, 300 points, one-man army. Ooh. No equipment, no <laughs> sideline. The only thing you can score is Doom if you can. <laughs> I love it. We've got a spicy team here. Well, with a one-man army, what's a scary matchup that could come your way today? Uh, so I am on the lookout for Thanos. Now, Doom, of course, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, but the support pieces can give the matchup to it. But if that support piece dies, Thanos doesn't take him 1v1. Uh, and secondly, Beast. Beast's ability to turn yeah. off. Yeah, so that's the only two things I'm looking for. I don't care about the swords because Doom has the ability to turn off equipment. Yeah, and he man. sees through characters, so you can bury him six deep, and I can still say, uh, you're not cutting off Tower Passment. You're not turning off my defenses. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 300 point god emperor doom oh man we'll have to follow you a bit today that is just exciting well another question for you dane uh what is a figure that's not really being talked about that you might expect to see today uh i want to see because i think it would be very interesting chase sadnier as a two of you can literally Ooh. just bring two of them and roll out the britain core six pieces deep and it's just an infinite spawning <laughs> very hard to remove pog army with blades yeah, so absolutely. it just runs up there and scores and those 300 points of Sadnier are almost as difficult as uh, God Doom to get rid of. It was my other meme team to think about, but I was thinking that Doom was going to do it for me. Two stop clicks is hard to go by. Heck yeah, man. Well, I just want to state that I am a huge fan of Saturnine. I absolutely love her. The Pog Generation's great. The six square away, no line of fire mastermind is fantastic as oh, well. Yeah. But Dane, we'll get you on your way here in just a second. I got one more question. What's a tarot card that you just do not want to see flipped against you? 
All right. So I've been looking through them. I was thinking about bringing my own, of course, which would just be all penalty pieces. They like they just hurt my opponent more than they hurt me. But I was looking through my deck and I realized that one of the ones that I didn't want to see was the one that turns all misses into critical misses. So I was like, yeah. there's not a fair chance that it would happen because Doom is swinging on a 13 top. It only goes down to an 11 towards the bottom. But there is a chance that yeah. the PC doesn't save me and I crit miss and take a piece off and I couldn't afford it. So yeah, I was like, no Terra today. With a one-man army, oh, man, that one click of damage can go a long way. Well, Dane, thank you so much for your time. Yes, really appreciate it. Good luck today. All right, guys, we are back with even more modern coverage. Today I am joined by Clicks Off co-host Jason Alvey. Jason, how are we doing today? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, man. So with modern about to kick off, we got about an hour until start here. What are we playing? I'm playing Triple Apocalypse. All right, guys, we found him. We found the man that everyone is fearing today, the Triple Apocalypse. And I got to ask, what landed you on the Triple Apoc team? I was tired of my figures just getting killed easily. <laughs> <laughs> I had been playing like a Spider-Man police celebrity team. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was yeah. your build. Yeah. Really cool build, guys. Check that one out, too. And, uh, you know, I just was things just didn't go my way and stuff would get killed. You had a lot of easy to kill pieces. Flash. Yeah. You know, Marvella. I'm done with it. I was just done with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Uh, I wanted to survive. That yeah, was my, that was my biggest goal. Yeah. Definitely. Dude. Yeah. And I'm not playing destroyer on my sideline. Oh really? No. Interesting. Oh, I suppose you don't have any equipment, so. I don't have any equipment, but I mean, he can still come in off when they're equipped characters attack me. But yeah. He's potentially. He's killable. a liability. Yes. Yeah. He's hundred point liability for a team like that. I know if I was squaring up against you, that'd be what I'm trying to kill. Yeah, so. so. Yeah, I'm going without it. I think he's a de more detrimental than he is helpful to winning. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. dude. Yeah. It's pure point denial. You can't risk anything. Yeah, I like exactly. it, man. Well, being the triple APOC player, you can't say what everyone else has said. What is your scariest matchup? <laughs> well, it's probably any team with Scarlet Witch or Beast. Yeah. Or Leech, potentially. Yeah. Yeah, I think those are the three worst matchups, probably, for me. Uh, I guess Thanos with a lot of barriers also a problematic. Yeah. That could definitely be a 0-0. Zero, zero. Absolutely. I yeah. did see that game on stream where that yeah. happened, yeah. so it's definitely a possibility. Yeah. Now, with uh, I do want to ask you a bit more in depth on this one. With the Leech, the Scarlet Witch, the Beast, um, do you have a specific positioning for that? Do you have an opening? Have you practiced against that? What do you look to do against so, a team like that? Trying to spread out as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, um, I think... I'm not sure that there's a way that I can keep them from getting one. Yeah. But I think once they get one, and I kill their piece that's doing that, and then I think I'm a, I think I win after that. Awesome, man. Yeah. Okay, I think. Cool. We'll see. It depends on the we'll dice. See. We'll see. It depends on the dice, you know. Yeah, absolutely. How many follow-up attacks do they have? That's, <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yeah. Well, another question for you here, Jason. What's a figure that's not really being talked about that, you know, you might expect to see today? Mm, I'm not sure about that. I can't. I can't think of anything. It's just going to be like a dark horse sleeper figure right now. I'm not it's so open right now. Yeah, man. Well, last question for you, Jason. What is a tarot card that you just do not want to see flipped against you? Um, there's a card that uh, makes tens and elevens critical hits. Ah, uh, yeah, through yeah, the mastermind. Through the mastermind. That's. I, I don't want to see that one. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's right. it. I don't know if it's strength, maybe. I'm not sure which one it is. I, I can't remember, but. There's too many. There's too many too it's many hard to remember the names. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's the one I don't want to see for sure. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, really appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, good luck today. Thanks. I'm sure we'll be checking back in with our triple APOC man. Right. Until next time. All right, guys, we are here with the Black Adam man himself, made one of the coolest figures for a world championship figure ever. It is George Masu. George. How are we doing today? Hey, I'm feeling great. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Thanks awesome. for asking. So, with Modern kicking off, what are we playing today? Today I'm playing, I'm going back to Latveria. Lord Doom. Ooh. That's who's coming out today. Lord Doom, yeah. I mean, with how much talk we've heard about Apocalypse, folks, it's not a bad pick. What uh, landed you on Latveria uh, compared to other things? A villain team. Doctor Doom, team. yeah. Why can't you? Doctor Doom is the way to go. <laughs> Smartest man out there. Hey, I love it. As a Doom, as a Doom fan. We absolutely love it. What's a matchup that uh, you're not looking forward to sitting across from today? Mm, uh, maybe not so much a specific matchup. There's a few good players out here that I got in the back of my mind that I got to watch out for just because they're you pretty know. skilled, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Man. No matter what they play, I think they're going to be very good at it. Yeah. You know, when you start to get to this higher level, the mistakes, they just lower and lower and lower. And in this high level of a competition, yeah, people aren't going to be making many. Well, George, what's a figure that no one's really talking about right now that you might expect to see today? 
Um, well, I'm playing Spirit of the Game. I don't Ooh. think too many people are playing that. No. I think I like the uh, uh, the action economy of uh, uh, five to three ratio. I get five, you get three. I think it'll work out in my favors. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. You know. Between Absolutely, three. man. Sure. Very exciting. Spirit of the Game. That is a first for this, at least. So we'll have to keep our eye on the build sheets. All right, George, last question, then we'll get you on your way here. What's a tarot card that you do not want to see flipped against you today? Hmm, anything Thanos brings out. I think all <laughs> these cards are made for Thanos, and they just benefit him so much. So I think anything he flips over is going to be pretty dangerous. Yeah, man. Yeah. Absolutely. We have uh, talked about whether tarot cards are good or bad for Thanos, and I think everybody's on the same page now that, yeah, they're really helping him out. Well, George, really appreciate the time. Here's a left-hand shake for you, Thank and you. Uh, good luck today, man. Rock